game ahead but game one of the regular season is always a little extra special Grant yeah no question about it this is a game everyone looks forward to to start the season off on the right foot I can't tell you how huge it is for a team's confidence to get a win on opening night but it's definitely one everyone is looking forward to all right check it out Golden State's opening lineup small lineup with Paul and Curry pairing up in the backcourt Thompson and Wiggins at the forward positions. And it's Looney in at the center position. And it's the Kings with the ball, following the score by Golden State. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Knocked away. Outside Paul. And here's Thompson for three. The rebound by Murray. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Ooh. Paul against Fox. Here's Sabonis. Yes! And a nice assist from Fox. We all know that Fox can score, but there he is reminding you that he can also drop some dimes. Paul passes to Looney. Back to Paul. And here's Wiggins. Pass to Curry. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Curry's got his second basket on the night. Ooh, Curry goes inside and just makes a tough shot. Outside Herter. And the three-pointer goes. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Paul against Fox. Looney, a screen on Fox. And it's Paul off the drive. The kick out, Curry. Back to Paul. Six on the shot clock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. From deep, Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got seven points in the game. What a response from Curry. Gotta know he's coming for his revenge. Fox outside. Now, if you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Now here's Curry. He's got seven. Here's Paul. Pass to Wiggins. Outside Curry. Another three for Golden State. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's feeding off his energy. Now here's Sabonis. Here's Fox. Back to Sabonis. Down low. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. No good on the free throw. Oh, and he sinks the second. Now Curry. He's got 10. Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. Outside Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. Curry from deep three-point land. It's rebounded by Sabonis. And that's a strong closeout defensively. Great effort to deter the shot. Fox deciding where to go with it. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. 
and Fox is so slick with the handles. I love watching him show off like this. Paul against Fox. Pass to Thompson. Outside Curry. Here's Paul. No points so far. Releases from 15. And there's another one for the Warriors. And when Paul gets to his spots, it doesn't matter if the defense is there. He's got a deadly jumper. Now Herder. Back to Fox. Murray with it. Herder from long range. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. Known as one of the game's great three-point shooters, Herder knows his role and plays it well. And he makes a first. He hits the second from the line. And he makes all three. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for Golden State. Looney, the screen. Curry passes to Looney. Can't cash it in from close range. The Kings trailing. Outside Herder. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Here's Sabonis. His last outing, we saw him score 22. Pass to Murray. We've seen Wiggins play suffocating defense against great scorers. Murray, no good. And here's Paul. Over Fox. Paul shot is off. And the defense was right on him there. Nice contest. Fox outside. Beyond the arc. Again, the miss by the Kings. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. Paul against Fox. Curry passes to Looney. Out to Thompson. Here's the three. That one goes. Now he's one for two. You just can't let Clay find any looks anywhere from the three-point line. He makes quick work from the coffin corner. With the floater. Here's Sabonis. It's deflected. And here is Thompson. Paul with it. On the wing, Curry fires from deep. Here's Looney, and the layup falls. He knows his job on the glass, and he does it well, cleaning it up and sending it right back. Paul against Fox. Oh, they get a hand on it, and stolen by Paul. On the wing, Curry, there's the triple. Rebound by the Kings. First chance of the year for them to go up against this Warriors team. And this squad bumped them out of the playoffs in the first round last year. <laughs> that hurts a little bit. One of the best passing bigs in the league. You can run your offense through Sabonis. He makes great decisions. Fox against Paul. Pass to Thompson. Puts up a three. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Thompson's got his second bucket of the night. 
Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. Now a timeout by Sacramento. Monk, he's checked in for the Kings. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Payton comes in for Chris Paul. And Sacramento has possession. They trail by seven. Monk passes to Sabonis. Now here's Murray. Goes up from the block. And it comes off the front of the rim. Looney finds Curry. Kaminga with a screen on Monk. Pass to Thompson. Kaminga down low. Defended by Murray. Kaminga's shot is off. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for the Kings. Now Monk. Outside Herder. Just five on the clock. Launches it. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got five rebounds tonight. Payton passes to Kaminga, using his post moves to get the two points. And now a nine-point Warrior lead. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. They kick it out to Murray. There's a the screen. Jacks up a three. The Warriors pull it in. Curry from deep three-point land. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Outside Monk. Inside, Sabonis. Deflected! And Sabonis slams it in! Just doing his job. Sabonis is there to snag the offensive rebound and put it right back. Thompson against Herter. Thompson passes to Curry. Here's Looney. And he lays it up and in. Looney's got his second basket of the night. And I'm just impressed with their effort here early. They've hit the offensive glass so hard. Sabonis outside. Back to Monk. Pass to Sabonis. The ball's knocked loose. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got seven rebounds in the game. Payton finds Curry. Back to Payton. Monk against Curry. Takes the three. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. 
Well, we might as well count those free throw shots. Curry is automatic at the line. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Warriors. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside Three shooting shot. ability. Another thing they're doing right early on tonight is attacking the offensive glass. Just outworking the defense and winning second chances at the hoop. And he hits the first of three. Perhaps the greatest shooter the game has ever seen. Curry continues to age like fine wine. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Misses. And he nails the third. Sacramento has gone one of four from deep. Sabonis outside. Who poked away. Paul against Mitchell. 11 feet out. And that one's good. Paul. And the Warriors lead by 13. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Couldn't come up with a much better start than this. They just have to keep it going. And that's a foul called on Demonis Sabonis. That's his first foul. And they just keep making mistakes. I mean, that's back-to-back -back turnovers, which easily could have been prevented. Some changes for Sacramento. McGee comes in for Demona Sabonis. And De'Aaron Fox is subbed in for Mitchell. Here's Golden State. They're on an 18-7 run. Outside Payton. With a step back. He squares up and sinks it. Ball's got six. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Pass to McGee. Fox with the ball. There's the steal. Paul taking his time here. Now here's Sharich. 52 seconds left in the first quarter. Kuminga's shot is off. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Spins. Pass to McGee. Now here's Kaminga. Sharich, the pass to Paul. Here's Peyton from the arc. Knocks down the triple. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Paul with a steal. Pass to Moody. Here's Sharich. He's covered by Fox. Moody from outside. Gets the three to fall. And the Warriors lead by 21. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. We'll see if they can keep this pace. Not sure they can win it by relying on just the three. Stephen Curry getting it done for Golden State. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Boy, for the Warriors, this has been the game they've wanted to have. 
Well, clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. They are playing for one another and focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. And here are the Kings now. Fox and Monk, they're the guards. Then there's JaVale McGee. Then it's Chris Duarte. And it's Vizinkov in at the power forward position. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How different is that from when you play, Grant? You know, B.A., it's very different. I think teams now are much smarter assessing load and risk and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Brian, the Kings finally last season snapped their 16-year playoff drought. And Coach Mike Brown said, quote, you take... a job to try and build a championship level team. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you have to believe we are going to keep working and we will get there. Brian? Well, that's what he's all about. He's the reigning coach of the year, Allie. Thank you. And it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. It's going to be Paul shooting. It's on De'Aaron Fox. One shot. I've been watching this game a long time, and there is absolutely nothing that Paul can't do on the basketball court. He really does have the whole package. Now here's Monk. No made baskets yet. Fox outside. Shoots over Paul, and again, it's Sacramento converting. It's just one of those nights where he's been very good, but his team is losing, and that's just an time odd feeling. Golden State calls timeout. Guarded. Wiggins, he's checked in for the Warriors. And a chance now to look at the highest scoring teams in the league from last season. The Kings, number one. Second, the Warriors. This is going to be a shooting contest as much as it is anything else. We know both of these teams are capable of racking up some huge point totals. Paul passes to Wiggins. Shot clock at six. Pass to Sharich from behind the arc. Called in by McGee. For Sacramento, they've gone three of three to begin the second. And here's Monk, guarded by Payton. Fox, the pass to Monk. The three ball. And the Kings with another three. They didn't do themselves any favors with their shooting in the first quarter, but they're starting to pick it up now. Ball passes to Payton. Tipped. McGee with a steal. Payton against Monk. Cranked it in off the glass. Monk's got five now. And their shots are dropping with more consistency now. The Warriors have got two of three shots to go in the second. The Kings making a switch here. Lyles is checked in. Wiggins passes to Paul. And again, it's the Warriors missing. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend them on the perimeter. Can't allow any space. Wiggins with a steal. Left side, Payton. Kuminga, the pass to Payton. Outside, Paul. Get there, get there. 
Outside Kaminga. Shot clock at five. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. He's got five. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Monk. He's got five. Nails it from three. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Paul against Fox. Left side, Paul. Back to Peyton. Let's it go from deep. Sinks it from distance. Peyton's got his second basket of the game. This is Paul's game. A pass-first point guard who excels at setting up his teammates. Knocked loose. Peyton against Monk. Peyton passes to Sharich. Rebound by the Kings. Here's Vizinkov. Yet to see a basket. And the call will be against Dario Sharich. That's his first foul. And some changes here for the Kings. Keegan Murray's checked in for Lyles. And Herter's subbed in for Duarte. Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. Now Herter, he has six. And the foul on Chris Paul. That's his first foul of the game. And the Warriors making a change here. Payton's checked in. Outside Herter. Back to Monk. On the wing, Murray. Five on the clock. And it's all from three-point range. The Warriors have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Thompson finds Paul. Outside Peyton. Thompson, a screen on Fox. Takes one from ten feet. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Just impressive, excellent take and make by Paul. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Sacramento has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. Herder against Thompson. Pass to Fox. It's hauled in by Sharich. The Warriors have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Paul against Fox. And here's Paul. He's got 14. Rebounded by Fox. Again, the miss by the Kings. See, that miss, that miss right there, it's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. Outside Peyton. It's not going to go for him. Great D that time from Monk. Sacramento has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Pass to Vizenkov. Back to Fox. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Fox has got 11. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. Paul passes to Wiggins. And he drives in. And here's Sharich for three. And again, no good by Golden State. The Kings have gotten seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. Fox against Sharich. And he lobs it up top. Alley oop up top at home. Running the pick and roll to perfection. Fox with the nice dish. And so Paul will bring it up for the Warriors. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. And Thompson gets it to go. 
and, and just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Timeout call, Sacramento. Amata Sabonis, he's checked in for Sacramento. Harrison Barnes comes in for Monk. Curry, he's checked in for the Warriors. Here's Murray. That's his second foul here pretty early in this one. He's got to be careful for the rest of this half. Murray from outside. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Clay Thompson picks one up. Drills it from deep. He loves to get rid of it. Fox has a nose for the open man. Golden State has gone two of five from distance here in the second quarter. Curry passes to Payton. To the inside. The open shot by Sharic. And the 18-footer right on the mark. Sharic has got his first points of the night. D was too focused on Wiggins scoring. Easy give to his teammate. Sabonis with a screen on Curry. Here's Fox. Sabonis. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Monk, he's checked in for Fox. Free throw drops for Sabonis. You can tell Sabonis brings a lot of heart to his game. He's serious about winning, but he also knows how to enjoy himself out there with his team. The three from Curry. He drains it. Made half his shots. He's 5 for 10 now. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. Herder against Thompson. Herder passes to Sabonis, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's on Dario Saric. It's the versatility and the unpredictability of what Sabonis does that makes him so hard to match up with, which is why he gets these easy tic-tac fouls. First free throw is good. And Sabonis drops them both. <laughs> They've been impeccable from the line here in the second period doing what they can to try to build some momentum. Pass to Sharic. Outside Payton. To the middle. Knocked away. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wiggins. All right, let's take a quick pause and look at the best shooting teams from last season. Second, the Kings. They were so consistent with their shooting. Maybe not lights out, but they played smart and didn't let good looks go to waste. to the paint. Pass to Monk. Now Barnes. Back to Herder. Five to shoot. And here's Monk. Let's go with a three. That shot off the mark. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. Thompson passes to Curry. Back to Thompson. 
Sharitz finds Curry. Wiggins with it. The three. Another three for Golden State. And Wiggins excels at reading defenses as well as understanding when to just catch and fire. Monk against Curry. Pass to Herder. Sabonis with a screen on Thompson. Here's Herder. And so far in this one, two for four. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Next up, they'll take on the Rockets at Toyota Center. It's the second game of three on the road. Now here's Curry. 27 points his last game. And the foul called on Harrison Barnes. Timeout, timeout. That's his first foul of the game. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Chris Paul comes in for Peyton. On defense, the Kings. They trail by 16. Pass to Paul. Over Monk. The kick out to Wiggins. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. Curry with a seal. Outside Paul. Ooh, he's found his rhythm. Seven for ten and counting. He's looked practically unstoppable this quarter. The defense, yeah, well, they haven't had many answers for him. Paul against Monk. Inside. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Draymond Green is one of the most versatile defenders in league history. He said, quote, I'm comfortable guarding anybody. But he also said, I love playing against those big guys. They're thinking they've got a mismatch, but I'm built for this. It won't be as easy as you think it's going to be, Brian. Allie, he always takes that challenge, doesn't he? Thank you. Here's Sabonis. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago, Herder against Curry. Six on the shot clock. Sabonis with a screen on Curry. Herder from long range. Knocks it down from distance. Herder's got 11 points. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Sends it home from three-point land. But he's been locked all the way in from the floor, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. Sabonis outside. Back to Monk. We've got 33 seconds left in the first half. There's Herter with the three. The Warriors pull it in. Looney's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Herter against Curry. Looney, a screen on Herder, takes a three, and the Warriors with another three. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. And so it's the Golden State Warriors, ending the period up by a staggering 23 points.
Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Hello everybody, we're here to break it all down and through the first half of play it's a very commanding lead for the Golden State Warriors. Here's a hypothetical. If you guys were in your prime today and could hop onto any team, who would you pick? Hmm, that's interesting, Ernie. Maybe I'd go back to Houston. I'd, I'd give them a boost. The boost, they need, a, they need a jet. You wouldn't give the Rockets a boost. You'd give them a malfunction. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Kenny's back. No, Kenny's they already back. have a problem. I'd be the one to help solve that problem. Thank you. I just enjoy sitting here listening. And now talking about our current game, got to be impressed with the big halftime lead for the Warriors. What really blew open this game was their second unit, Shaq. Once those guys came in their game, it was lights out. And I see them going to the same substitution pattern in the second half. Why not? The way they're running off of this game, they might clear the bench by the start of the fourth quarter. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Chris Paul having a dominant impact in this game. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. Kick it off the second half. Here's Steve Kerr's five. The Splash Brothers move to the wings. Curry the two, Clay at the three. Inside, it's Wiggins at the four with Looney in the middle. And it's Paul in at the point guard position. Gets the three ball to go. Stretching that range. Defenders might want to get out on Murray. He is dangerous from out there. Pass to Looney. Now Paul. He's covered by Fox. Takes one from 10 feet. Called in by the Kings. And the defense was all over him once he got in close. Didn't want him to get too comfortable. Outside Barnes. From outside the arc. The basket's good. Off the assist from Fox. Fox has got five assists in the game. Curry against Herter. Now here's Curry. He's covered closely. And a quick look at how the Sacramento Kings schedule is shaping up. On Sunday, they'll face off against Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers. Then on Wednesday, they'll go up against Chris Paul 
and the Golden State Warriors. What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. And that one falls for Curry. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Sabonis with a screen on Paul. Pass to Herter. From downtown, he drops it from range. Herter's got 14 points for the game. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. Fox against Paul. Six to shoot. And De'Aaron Fox picks up the foul. That's his third foul so far. Wiggins against Murray. And here's Thompson for three. The kick out, Curry. Hits the three-pointer. Curry's got 23. What focus from Curry on offense so far, doing everything he can to provide a lift for his squad. Pass to Sabonis. Outside Barnes. Fox outside. Sabonis in the post. Looney's there. Just five to shoot. Sabonis, he's open. And there are the Kings with another bucket. Oh, coming out hot, hot, hot. Four out of four for the field. Okay. Paul against Fox. Looney, the screen. Paul for three. Lots of room. The shot by Looney, no good. It is a shame to see a high percentage look go to waste. He'll be hearing about this one in the locker room, I'm sure. Paul with a steal. In transition, here come the Warriors. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the stripe. That's a strong take by Wiggins. I like the aggressiveness. Free throw drops for Wiggins. I've been impressed to see Wiggins adjust and become a quality defensive stopper. He is fully committed to playing lockdown D on the wing. Now here's Fox. 11 points in the game. On the wing, Curry. Plenty of space. And there's another one for the Warriors. Time out, time this out. man has entered the zone. Great Sorry. shooting performance from him all game long. Timeout call, Sacramento.
while we have a break. Here were some of the top free throw shooters in the game last season. Stephen Curry, third. Very steady at the line. He's a guy who isn't rattled easily, and that shows in his free throw shooting numbers. Sacramento has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Fox against Paul. Outside Barnes. Outside Murray. Fires the three. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Well, his shooting is unfortunately not helping things. And his lackluster accuracy is probably the thing that's keeping them behind. Back to Paul. Outside Curry. Thompson, a screen on Herter. Just five on the clock. Thompson, no good. The Kings have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Herter passes to Fox. Down low. Here's Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. Love to see Sabonis get dominant like this. Defense has no chance to interfere. Fox against Paul. Thompson outside. And the three off target. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. Ooh, he is in the zone offensively. Sabonis is making good selections and playing with great intensity right now. Curry finds Paul. Thompson outside. On the wing, Curry over Murray. It's rebounded by Sabonis. The Kings have gotten six of eight shots to go and looking good since the break. Herter passes to Murray. And it's Murray finishing it off. There's the slam from Murray. I love this aggressive approach inside by him. Wiggins outside. Pass to Looney. Outside Paul. Now Curry. They double-team Curry. Looney. And Looney with the slam. Just an unselfish play from Curry. Always ready to move the ball and his body to help an open shooter. Outside Herter. Back to Fox. Count it. That's his sixth field goal in 12 tries. They have no answer defensively inside. Paul with it. He's got 18. Thompson with it. He's picked up by Barnes. Outside Curry. Three-pointer. The offensive rebound. And Looney with the slam. Uh-oh. Now it looks like we've got an injury here, guys. We'll likely see him come out of the game. And, man, this really doesn't look good. Just the way it happened. And you know it's serious if he's heading to the locker room. It takes a lot to get him out of any game. Outside Monk. Pass to Fox. The ball's knocked loose. Back to Monk. Here's Vizinkov. Herter finds Fox. And a miss there on the triple. The Warriors have gotten 5 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Wiggins passes to Thompson. Back to Wiggins. For three. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got 11 rebounds in the game. It's Herter on the wing. He's guarded by Paul. Pass to Fox. And Andrew Wiggins gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Kaminga, he's checked in for Andrew Wiggins.
Punk against Thompson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Kevon Looney picks one up. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. All game long, they've been making it rain from the arc. And look, they've done it by feeding the hot hands. Take a break. Take well, a something break. else that stands out Two is shots. how they've shared the ball. I mean, they're getting a lot of their points from sharp passing. The free throw drops for Monk. He makes the first but misses the second. And Grant, you grew up in the D.C. area. A lot of great basketball players coming out of the DMV in recent years. Yeah, B.A., especially P.G. County with Kevin Durant, Jeremy Grant, and plenty of others. It was a great place to grow up in the DMV as a sports fan, and that legacy definitely continues. And it's the Kings with the ball. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. Herter can't hit. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. He is totally in the zone, showing his incredible focus when it comes to attacking the glass. Now here's Paul. 18 points for him. Clock at six. Counted from distance. Paul's got 21. By no means a volume three-point shooter, Paul picks his spots and is very accurate. Fox, the pass to Sabonis. The basket's good. Off the assist from Fox. Fox has got eight assists here tonight. You can tell he's feeling it. Hasn't missed a single shot all quarter. Now here's Curry. 25 points in the game. Over Herter. And again, it's Golden State. Well, Curry's accuracy makes the mid-range easy pick as he just goes up, nails the shot with ease. Herter against Curry. Pass to Fox. Paul with a steal. In transition, here come the Warriors. Can't get it to fall. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Herter against Kaminga. Here's Sabonis. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got his 16th rebound on the night. Pass to Curry. Back to Looney. Outside Kaminga. From deep three-point land. Curry, no good. And so it's Fox with it. He'll bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Now here's Sabonis. Picked by Sabonis. Herder with it. And it's Paul picking him up. Here's Vizinkov. No good on the triple. The Warriors shooting it well, around 55% for the game. Thompson passes to Kaminga. Paul against Fox. Pass to Curry. Fires for three. Yes, and it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got assist number eight now on the night. Sacramento has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Fox, the pass to Herter. Sabonis with it. Over Looney. Again, the miss by the Kings. Eighteen feet out. And he gets the jumper to drop. Paul's got five points now this quarter. I love how fast Paul makes these decisions. His basketball IQ is simply sensational. Now a timeout by Sacramento. Man, it's been quite a game for Stephen Curry. They have to come up with a new wrinkle defensively because he is killing them from deep.
Some changes for Sacramento. Dorte comes in for Herter, and Mitchell subbed in for De'Aaron Fox. A minute 37 left in the third quarter. Now here's Monk. He's got six. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Drops in the three. Mitchell's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And far from the best shot, but all that matters is the end result. Somehow he sinks it. One oh three left in the third quarter. Inside, here's Sabonis. It's rebounded by Golden State. Up top, Paul. Checked by Mitchell. Here's Paul. 23 points in the game. Moody misses. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. On the wing, Mitchell. Here's Vizinkov. Warriors with the rebound. Sharich has got four rebounds in the game. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Pass to Paul. Here's Moody. To the paint. Coming it down low. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the D. Okay, that's a tough bucket. D on him as tight as possible, but you're not going to stop this guy from getting to the rim. Mitchell. What a play! He drains it at the buzzer! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. He didn't even look worried about the time on the clock. Nice way to end a quarter. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Warriors. He's been an offensive force. Now with over 30 points after the quarter. We'll be right back after this word. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. And from a team perspective, having your off-guard rip off passes like that, it's awesome. It shows you have guys willing to give up the rock. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Fox and Monk, they're the guards. Then it's Chris Duarte. Then there's JaVale McGee. And it's Vizinkov in at the four spot. That's the five out there for the Kings. Now here's Peyton. Pass to Wiggins. Down to five on the shot clock. The three. And the Warriors with another three. From another zip code. Man, look, Wiggins is showing no fear from deep. McGee with it. And here's Monk. And out of bounds. The Warriors will take it. And so Thompson will bring it up for Golden State. Pass to Kaminga. Now here's Sharich. Outside Payton. Wiggins outside. Off the mark there with a three. So it's Sacramento now. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Here's Duarte. 
McGee, a screen on Kaminga. Five on the clock. Cortez shot is good. Here's Thompson. And Grant, the play-in was added after you retired. You wish it was around when you played? You know, B.A., uh, no. Uh, but I do think we could have used it a couple of times in my years in Orlando. But, you know, in all fairness, the play-in is a success as it creates a Game 7 atmosphere. And the NBA really knocked it out the park with this one. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Whew. Fox with the ball. Now Thompson defending. And rejected. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Fox against Thompson. Pass to Duarte. Launches it from deep. The basket's good. Off the assist from Fox. Fox has got his ninth assist of the game now. Thompson passes to Kaminga. And here's Sharich. Outside Payton. Now Wiggins. Just four to shoot. And here's Thompson for three. Oh, and Fox with the block. His three-point shooting kind of dried up in the second half. He is yet to make one after knocking down three before halftime. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, time out, time yeah, out. you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of Start. sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Golden State calls timeout. Herders checked in for the Kings. And Golden State also making a switch. Joseph is checked in for Sharich. about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Joseph passes to Payton. Here's Joseph. Thompson with a screen. Shot clock at five. The three is up. The rebound by Vizenkov. Vizenkov's got five rebounds tonight. 
to the inside. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And Richard, you played for eight different teams. But what was your favorite city in the NBA? Oh, it wasn't any of the places that I played. I love L.A., I love Miami, I love New York, love me some Take Toronto. But my Two favorite shot. place was Phoenix. And he knocks down the first one. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. Second free throw, no good. Looking at the young forward, Jonathan Kaminga, a big man who continues to try to get better. Yeah, I really like this guy. Ultimately, he's got to hit his 10,000 hours. He's got to play more games and get more minutes, but he definitely possesses a hunger to improve, and every team loves those types of values. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Pass to McGee. Peyton with it. Come around, come around. Back to Thompson. To the left side wing. Nifty move. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Grant, you look at the league's basketball-related income. The players and owners split it about 50-50. You know, B.A., that's why they call it a partnership. You talk about a shared interest. The NBA has really become a leader by example in all of professional sports. First one falls for him. So the Kings making a change here. Lynn's checked in. Curry, he's checked in for the Warriors. Chris Paul comes in for Klay Thompson. So after making the first, he goes one for two for Sacramento. They've got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Monk for three. Sacramento again missing. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Outside Curry. 4-3. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And the foul on Chris Paul. That'll be a second foul of the game. McGee, he's checked in for Lynn. And the Warriors will go with a different look here. Sharich checks in for Looney. Kaminga comes in for Wiggins. Moody's checked in for Curry. And Joseph is subbed in for Paul. Monk finds McGee. Here's Herder. It's stolen by Sharich. Here's Moody. Herder defending. And until recently, it seemed like a foregone conclusion that the NBA's age limit would come back down to 18. Are you surprised that didn't happen, Grant? You know, B.A., I am surprised. We heard players saying it's not fair to make guys wait. You know, Commissioner Silver seemed receptive, so that was slightly unexpected that age 19 remains the rule. A moment here for an injury report. And let's go to the sidelines for an update on Keegan Murray's injury. Guys, I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for Sacramento. They told me it's a collapsed lung, a serious situation, and we're all hoping that he's okay. The recovery time is still up in the air, but guys, one thing's for sure, a return tonight is out of the question. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And you never want to speculate. So it's nice for us, and especially his teammates, to get some facts. Now here's Kaminga. Can't sink it. Fourth miss out of nine attempts. Pass to Vizinkov. Outside Herder. From the wing. He goes up again. Offensive board. Here's McGee. 
blocked. Stripped away. Here's Vizinkov. No good from outside. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And the shot goes in. Peyton's got five points in the quarter. A good move inside, finishing through some tough defense. He'll battle you anytime he's around the rim. Herter finds Fox. And RJ team's now able to add a third two-way contract to the roster. A lot of quality players getting a foothold into the league now. Yeah, you think of names like Alex Caruso, Lou Dort, able to develop in both the G League and in the association. So many players have really gotten their footing inside that G League. Here's Moody. The Kings getting their last shot to go. Shot clock at six. Sharich a screen. And here's Kaminga for three. Another three for Golden State. After sinking one triple in the first quarter, he nails another one in the second quarter. He's got it going on. Outside Herter. Pass to Fox. And he sinks the 11-footer. The defense looking helpless to stop Fox. This guy fears no one. Here's Sharich. Here's Joseph. To the middle. To the left wing. Outside Peyton. Out to the right wing. Pass to Sharich. Back to Peyton. He got a piece of it. Peyton against Fox. To the paint. Here's McGee. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Sabonis, he's checked in for Sacramento. Harrison Barnes comes in for Monk. And the Warriors making a switch here. One shot. Free throw no good for McGee. Well, Richard, the league now requires 65 games played to qualify for postseason awards. You see that curbing load management at all? I hope so, B.A. I'm not a big fan of load management. I think if you're healthy, you should try and play. You should build up your strength to run a marathon. I think if teams are prioritizing postseason success, that's fine. But, look, players are going to want to get those All-NBA awards because that helps with your contract. First one falls. Monk, he's checked in for the Kings. The Warriors also with a sub. Sharich checked in. Both shots good from the strike. Now Fox. Sabonis outside. Fox outside. Pass to Monk. Back to Fox. To the inside. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Sabonis. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Oh my, oh my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. The Warriors have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Here's Joseph. He's covered by Fox. Here's Kuminga. Barnes with the rebound. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Outside Herder. Charity stripe shot. That's good from Fox. On the assist by Herter. Fox has got 19 points. The tenacity. Fox putting it all on display with that jumper. Joseph passes to Payton. Here's Moody. Herter defending. Sharich a screen on Herter. 
Here's Moody. Six on the shot clock. No good off the back of the rim. And so Sabonis will bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Outside Herter. And the NBA's TV deal expires after next season. What are you hearing about where things are headed, Grant? Well, B.A., the league seems focused on greater access for the fans, especially the cord cutters. So with more games on broadcast TV and possibly a streaming package as well. Now here's Kaminga. Pass to Payton. Let's the three fly. And that one's good. Joseph. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. I think when you've got it going from three-point range, you've got to keep it going. It's a good way to kind of pile up the points quickly. Here's Fox. Now here's Sabonis. Sharich covers. With the fadeaway. Sabonis can't hit. Great contest by the defense, and he's unable to hit that tough fadeaway. Pass to Sharich. We've got 128 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Kuminga's shot is off. Sacramento has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Warriors. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And against a familiar opponent, it's nice to establish a psychological advantage with a win in the first game. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Chris Paul. Steals are almost a forgotten stat. We don't talk about them a ton, but he's been huge in that category. Here's Joseph. Outside Peyton. The three is up. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Shot and game clock separated by five. Double team on Fox. There's Herter with the three. Knocks down the triple. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they shown this kind of fight earlier. Too little, too late. That final score will look way closer than how this game actually played out. Here's Moody. Herter defending. Here's Moody. And so it's the Warriors taking care of business in this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Steph, I know it's still early, but how do you evaluate this team and its ability to go the distance? Uh, in terms of communicating about our principles and how we're going to be successful, trying to chase another championship, we're definitely uh, on the same page. Just a matter of staying focused every night, giving the best effort we can, and just you know enjoying the journey because it's a long year. Well, you've been there. You know what it takes. Thanks, Steph. All right, Allie, thank you. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Chris Paul.